Can exercise give you an orgasm? Hmm? Well, according to researchers at Indiana University, as well as Sports Illustrated model Jessica White, you certainly can have an orgasm while you are working out. So first, let's talk about Jessica White. So the Sports Illustrated model, in a recent interview, she told Bikini.com, quote, I was doing squats one time and I was like, oh my God, this is orgasmic. Maybe I was squeezing and doing my Kegels. I don't know what it was, but I had to go to the bathroom. I did have an orgasm, and that's when I realized my body was bigger than me. So, which is physically impossible. <laughs> about the, your body is the same size as you. <laughs> now, according to Dr. Debbie Herbenick, she's a PhD, an associate professor at Indiana University. She has been studying this and they've been researching it. They also have come up with a term, it's called corgasm. She's also written a book called The Corgasm Workout. And she says, quote, corgasmic exercises can include squats, crunches, hanging leg lifts, pull ups, and other exercises that engage the core in intense or challenging ways. It's not about genital friction. It feels like it comes from the core and usually feels closer to a deep vaginal intercourse orgasm than an external clitoral stimulation orgasm. Thoughts, fibers, or less? Jessica, you the real MVP. <laughs> spot me. G, spot me. <laughs> Coming to gyms near you. Whoa! Ew! Oh, ah. You have Whoa. like that towel they give you and then it's like, that's the sound oh. vaginas make. What? Like you think women's bodies are gross? <sighs> That's what that sounded like. I think they're beautiful. Okay. So this is interesting. I totally get why this would happen. Like I totally understand. It makes sense. Yeah, especially yes. when you are flexing, you do flex the Kegels. Well, so I, I understand that. I've had orgasms watching women exercise, so why can't they? Wait, okay, so this is, just to be very clear, this is only women. Like, no, she said that 10% of men and women at some point in their lives have had a corgasmic okay. experience. Okay, Fol follow-up question to that. So women, they have this private orgasm, or I guess not private if they're at a gym. Mm -hmm. Guys, and, and that's like their own, like it's like a cool little secret, like ladies, like over brunch, they can be like, ladies, guess what happened uh -huh. to me? You'll never believe it. Like However, climbing the rope or something? Yes. However, mm -hmm. what? <laughs> like maybe humping the rope. <laughs> um, Climbing the rope. That's what she says. Hey, husband, want to go climb the rope right now? No, the reason why I said that is because we've had a different story. It was years ago where you're in gym class and you're asked to climb like the, the rope <laughs> and you <laughs> have an, an orgasm, but that's different from corgasm because and that's a, you, do you let a genital stimulation. Do you let go of the rope? <laughs> you shake. You just like, but that's, Tarzan. Oh! Stop. Oh! So that does commonly happen because there's genital like contact. Yes. As opposed to this is internal. Okay. okay that's so, a, my, that was my point. That's a good God. point. So, but this the what you were getting to. What about. I was so then if it happens with guys, wouldn't an erection have to occur? Yeah. All an erection is is an increase in blood in the penis. Wouldn't you go like pants, God. Man, they'll keep they'll keep it in bay. <laughs> Will they? Yeah, you took it up you tuck it up. Oh. I don't see how you would have an orgasm from this. And even if you do, maybe it's just like there's certain contractions you have that don't actually create what I would imagine would be an embarrassing stain situation. Ugh. Yes. Ugh. Can you imagine it if that like became like a class? Not to be if it became a class. I think yeah. that's, that's Just... where it needs to go. <laughs> that's Is where there it needs will to go. be like the it, the corgasm <laughs> workout? We're, yeah, yeah, we're in Los Angeles. It will 100% go there. But I think that the thing <laughs> with the workout is that you have to buy into it. Like, I, I think it's almost like hypnosis. You'd have to be the biggest exhibitionist to get off. You have to be the kind of person who gets off on getting off in front of people. Yeah. Like, Unless you're doing this in I the privacy like, of your own home and you're yeah. squatting I think if and you're like knocking out two birds with one stone. And I hate that phrase because I feel bad for the birds saying it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. I hate that phrase. It's the worst. It's like the straw that broke the camel's back. I that hate it. That poor camel. Yes. I got to come up with a different phrase than that. But you know what I mean. So if you're doing it in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> you know, you can't beat a dead horse. I hate that too. <sighs> we have a lot of idioms that are like really mean to animals. I know. Yeah. Anyhow. Cool. Anyhow. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. What do you guys think about this corgasm? We want to know what you guys have to say. I almost wanted to ask, have you had one? But I, 
and maybe, sure, let's find out. I want to know if you had a Corgasmic experience. And we'll see you guys all next time on Pop Trigger. Special thanks to the folks at Trendy Butler for this outfit. If you want to get $10 off your purchase, go to TrendyButler.com, sign up, and enter the promo code POP10. You get over $100 worth of clothes every month for $65. Enjoy.